Welcome back to H20 Special Relativity. In this last example of relativistic kinematics, we want to investigate scattering, in this specific case, the scattering of a photon on an electron at rest. So we have, as an initial state, a photon, an electron at rest, and then the photon is scattered, and we also observe a scattered electron. There's one important piece of physics here, which we add without further explanation, which is the Planck-Einstein relation, which relates the energy of the photon to the frequency of the photon or the wavelengths. Um, this is uh, fundamentally important in, in um, quantum physics and um, uh, can be explained or tested with the photoelectric effect for which Einstein received the Nobel Prize. So what we want to do here is find the wavelength shift, so delta lambda, which is the wavelength of the incoming photon minus the wavelength of the outgoing photon um, as a function of the scattering angle theta as shown in this picture here. Okay, so again, this is an activity I want you to, to, to work on and, and try to find out this. The algebra here is not trivial, um, but knowing how to set up a problem like this is important. So let's try. So, the way to set this up is to write this four vector relation, or you could just simply write down energy conservation and momentum conservation. So you have an initial state, the before, and the final state, the after. So you simply add the four vectors of the initial electron and photon, um, and set this equal to the scattered electron and the scattered photon. Now we are interested in a quantity delta lambda, which is uh, related to the change in energy of the photon. So therefore, you bring the four vector of the four scattered photon over here to this side um, and build the square, which allows us then to use our invariant information in the scattering, scattering process. Um, when we explore the square here, um, we find the photon four vector squared um, for the scattered and the unscattered photon minus two times the product of the two four vectors. Now the mass of the photon is zero and then hence the invariant mass is zero or two. So this invariant four vector is zero. So this cancels and this cancels. And then we know that the mass of the electron is the mass of the electron. The initial momentum of the electron is zero. And we just for the further, uh, not to get confused, we set C equal to zero uh, to one. So then we just go to, through a sequence of algebra here, making use of um, the information that those guys here are simply the mass of the electron. Um, we move things around a little bit and then find this equation here, which relates um, the, the energies of the two photons via the scattering angle, which we get from the scalar product of the um, three momenta of the photon. Um, to the change in electron um, energy, um, which is the energy of the electron minus the mass. Okay, and then we start using the Einstein relation here. And again, a little bit of algebra then brings us to delta lambda equal h over me times one minus cosine theta. So this relates the shift in wavelengths to the scattering angle of the photon. Important. If you want to recall this, the most important part to this problem is setting up um, this first equation here, which relates the energy and the momenta or the four vector of those particles before and after the collision. And again, in, and then, you know, it takes a little bit of practice, but the way to approach most of those problems is to make use of um, the invariant four vector uh, squared or the invariant mass of the objects involved, as we know the masses of the objects involved. Okay, 